Thank you. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to a special meeting of the Mayor and Council of the Borough of Englewood Cliffs. Today is July 7th, 2022. It's approximately 6.33 p.m. Um, calling this meeting to order via the Zoom app. It's a virtual meeting. Everyone from the public will have an opportunity to be heard uh, if they wish to be heard. Uh, Madam Clerk, would you please read into the record the statement of compliance? Adequate notice of this meeting has been provided in accordance with the Open Public Meetings Law PL 1975, Chapter 231, setting forth the time, date, place, and purpose of this meeting through a legal notice published in the record, posted on the bulletin board, and on the borough website. Thank you. Um, can I have a roll call, please? Mayor Kranjak? Here. Councilmember Di Gregorio? Present. Member Luciano? Present. Member Park? Member Begetz? Member Kepsaskis? Here. Council President Katrubis? Here. Attorney Mench? Here. I think we good. Do you know um, if Mr. Park will be joining us? He didn't say if he was or not. I didn't get any response. Okay, so he's absent. Uh, would everybody please, hold on a second. Right. Uh, Ms. Begatz is here now. Let's recite the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, America to the Republic, Republic for which it stands, one nation, nation under God, God indivisible, with, with justice, justice for all. liberty, and justice for all. Mr. DiGregorio, I think you got to brush up on that. Um, there's, there's been. Um, several deaths in town and I wanted to have a moment of silence, but I wanted to uh, have more people present for it. So I think what I'm gonna do is just hold off uh, until next week when we have a regular meeting and we have more people uh, you know, for, for to pay respects with. Uh, that said, um, I think there were 12 COVID cases this week. There were seven uh, or five last week. So, um, still around no one's really going to the hospital as far as i know um but there are different strains out there now um or sub strains rather the uh the agenda item for the special meeting uh is the approval of minutes and um there is um, a whole slew of them there are very many of them so uh how I guess what we could do is um, we just go through each one separately because I'll, I'll, I'll make a motion to, to vote on all of them at the same time. Second. That's that's fine. If you wish to do that, we'll, we'll do them. So they're on the agenda. Um, July 14, 2021 regular November 10th, 2021 regular November 18, 2021 closed uh, and special. Uh, meeting, uh, December 8th, 2021, closed and regular meeting, December 15th, 2021, closed and special meeting, January 12th, 2022, closed and regular meeting, January 26th, 2022, emergency special meeting, March 3rd, 2022, closed session, March 9th, 2022, closed and regular meeting, March 31st, 2022, emergency special meeting, April 4th, 2022, closed and regular meeting, April 27th, 2022, regular meeting, May 18th, special budget presentation, May 19th, 2022, special meeting. Um, Ms. Borchers, were there any others that you added after that? No, I didn't. Okay. There will be some more coming up with the uh, July 13th meeting as well. But, so that that's all of them and um, if I could just have a motion to um, move them all for approval. There's already a motion in a second. There, there, there was a motion to actually do them all together. There wasn't a motion for these specific meetings. So I just want to- make I'll make the motion to move them all. Okay, can I have a second, please? Second. Okay, can I have a roll call? Member DiGregorio? 
Yes. Member Luciano? Can you come back to me, please? Sure. Member Park is absent. Are we allowed to are we allowed to do that, Mr. Mensch or Mr. Collins? I, we have two lawyers on this meeting. I'm not sure why, but uh, are we allowed to go out of order like that? Yeah, he can pass and come back. Member Begets. Member Begets, I think you're muted. Give me one second and we check. Member Begets. Yes. Member Kepsaskis? Yes. Council President Katrubis? Yes. Member Luciano? I'm going to, um, <clears throat> only because I haven't had a chance to go through them all, and I know that there was, I've had questions previously about the minutes with regard to being properly indicated, what time people came, what time, when people were muted, when people were asked, or people were removed from meetings, so. Um, besides the fact that I haven't been able to go through them through them all thoroughly, I'm going to say Member Luciano, I think you'd like to know as well. One of the reasons why the you that is not on the um, uh, reflected on the minutes is because we used to have uh, a Zoom uh, account, and it, when it was handed over to us, it, and if I'm not mistaken, I like the uh, borough attorney to to, to 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 correct me if I'm wrong. But when it was handed over to us, uh, it was never handed over to the borough with the proper username and password. And after repeated tries, uh, we still were not given the proper username and password. Effectively, we were locked out of the account and we don't have access to any of those records. Um, I had previously tried to get uh, uh, access to those, um, uh, to those records. But uh, uh, previous attorney Bernstein would not allow me to get it, um, things of that nature. I think you were on those emails, but yeah, that's really the reason. That's really and the reason. In, I'm sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. It's all right, that, but that's really the reason that I believe why that's not reflected on the minutes. We just don't. We've been locked out. Yeah, and I'm not. I'm not pointing fan. And I understand that. I really do. I mean, but maybe the mayor could help us with the last meeting. He said that the chief had backups to all those codes, which I'm still trying to figure out how, how, how that's happened. But um, I'm not pointing fingers. I'm more saying that I'm taking responsibility that I didn't have adequate time to really review them as more of a more of an issue. That was just a sidebar that something that I had raised to the uh, attention of everybody. It's really more on me that I haven't had time to really go through them and and feel comfortable with them, but I mean, if, if anything, I would probably vote yes because the court is telling us to. So that's why I wanted to be moved later because you know this is something by the court that has to be done. We should have been doing it um, more efficiently before. So um, I appreciate you guys passing me and letting me come back. But that's why I'm abstaining. You highlighted the fact that you haven't read them, but we've had them for over a week or about a week. And if um, if you want to let you catch up and, and do some reading, we could take a little recess here and, and let you read them all and then come back and tell us if you disagree or agree with the minutes. What? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I oh, do. I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Mr. DeGregorio, I'm asking Mr. Luciano if he would like to have a recess right now to go back and, and read these and then we'll come back when he's ready. Mr. Luciano, would you like to do that? Um, no, if as you've indicated, if we've had them for more than a week, I don't think that let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen in a short recess is, is really. I, I mean, I, I understand what you're doing, but Wait, I, I think you have the votes, and no, there's no reason to. No, but to, I don't want ask for, I didn't ask for recess. I thank you for offering it, but well, you're we welcome. can move I'll, on to the next one. You're welcome. I want you to feel very comfortable. I'm even willing to read them to you if you'd like. Well, if you'd like after the meeting, no, I'll, meet you, I'll meet you in the park. I'll meet you in Johnson Park. You can come read them to me. No, I can read them to you right now if you'd like. Um, well, so no, I, I, don't, I don't think we can know, do it this it, time. This time is such a challenge for you to actually do your The job. only challenge we have in this borough, Mayor, is you. So please, right. let's move on. Well, I knew yeah. you would say that, but, you know, I do expect people to do work in between meetings. Yeah, well, let's move on. The time yeah, in yeah. between meetings is actually more important than the time at the meetings, because that's when you do your work and prepare for the next meeting. Mr. DiGregorio, what would you like to say? 
Um, basically, uh, most of these minutes, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, but most of these minutes um, were not during the time that uh, the mayor had control of Zoom um, and he had uh, lost control of Zoom. So, um, you know, I think as far as the, you know, the, the Zoom records, that would be more interesting for the, meet, the minutes that were before. So now that we are less uh, muted and less thrown out of meetings, actually not at all, um, it wasn't for me, not, uh, I didn't see it as a huge issue because most of the meetings that were on, that we approved tonight, uh, the minutes uh, were, um, were out of that time range. Were you able to read them all, Mr. DiGregorio? I don't have to answer the questions. Uh, you know, you're not the, you're the mayor, but you're not the professor. I did, I did my homework and uh, thank you very much. That's my comment. Answer, that's your prerogative, but um, Mr. Luciano, we'll try to give you more time next time. Okay, next on the uh, agenda. Mia, can I say something? Uh, are you still taking the roll call? No, I think we're done. May I say something though? Yeah. So, uh, Councilman Luciano, I know at the December meeting, uh, some of the minutes were not approved because of that reason. Um, so after that, I did put in, if you would, if you will read all the minutes, I did add if someone was muted or somebody was thrown off, which was nobody was thrown out, but some were muted. I did put it on in the minutes, just so you know. Yes, yes ma'am. Like as, once again, I, it wasn't. I mean, we're turning this into a bigger issue than. No, it really I get it. Is. It's, it's, it's not. It's not. I'm not. I'm not. It's not a reflection of you. It's not. I'm just saying that you know, and I'm taking forward. But the mayor could try to twist it in the wind any way he wants, but. You know, I mean, I've had other things that uh, have happened in my life recently, and I didn't have time to read them. So, you give nice, nice yeah. gesture. There. I'm recording that too. We'll use that in the next campaign because it is your clown face. But I appreciate everybody uh, entertaining me for a moment. Uh, Mr. Park has joined. Yes, uh, I was just going to say that he has joined us. 4 p.m. Hello, Mr. Park. Would Would you like to vote on the minutes? Isn't the vote already over? Okay. Yes. Is the vote still going on? Can, can he vote? Yes. I make a motion to allow Mr. Park to vote. Second. I'm joking. I don't you think already he have does. your votes. He can vote. I don't care. I'm just joking. I mean. Okay. Okay. Mr. Park, uh, would, would you like to vote to approve the minutes? All of them? Yeah, all of them. Yes. Uh, query, um, what were Council members Begets and Kapsaskis um, abstaining from everything except the May series? Two. Yeah. Yeah, okay. It just, is, is, just make sure the record reflects that. Sure. We'll do that. Because, um, Mr. Kapsaskis, do you agree with that? I'm sorry, what? Um, you're, you're abstaining. Are you cutting? What was the, the question? Uh, Mitch, you're abstaining from everything except May 18th and May 19th, right? Um, I'm just, I'm voting yes to the, I mean, the, the motion was for all of them. So I'm just voting yes for all of them. Right. But you weren't present for those meetings. So my agenda. Mayor shows... Roberts rules of order do not require somebody to be present to vote in a specific manner. Uh, well, you know what we, we always had, uh, and it makes no sense for people who weren't at a meeting to vote on minutes. And I see my agenda has abstentions for everything except the two May meetings. So it's, it's up to you guys. I it's okay. Pass anyhow. So uh, let's- Already speak. voted. Let's move on, right? Oh, the board, the board has been recorded properly. We, we just need to do it the right way. Matt now has changed the rule again on us. He says you could vote on anything no matter whether or not you were there. So any hey. rule that Matt has made has been 100% better than any of the attorneys and you brought actually, us. So let's go. I'm glad you said that because remember when we had the vacancy and you guys wouldn't fill it and Matt Mensch said you don't have to. Well, yeah, it was, it was it was it was it was the, the, it was the, it was the law court. at the time. Let me finish. Let me finish. It was the law at the time. Let me finish. Let me finish. It was the law at the time. The New Jersey Supreme Court agreed with me and not with Mr. Mensch because yes. Mr. Mensch disenfranchised voters. Yesterday, it was. 
No, and you disenchant side voters by not having William Wu seat to vacant and Please voted on last November. Please don't interrupt, Mr. Luciano. Let me have the floor. Then well, you can well, have when you the tell floor. lies, like you say, when people Let tell lies, you have to set the record the straight. Floor. So I'm setting the record straight. Mr. Luciano, you're the person who can't even find time to read minutes. Let me have the floor, and then you could have the floor. Let I me found time this for this up. meeting, though. The New Jersey Supreme Court yesterday decided that you cannot leave council member seats vacant. They agreed with me. They disagreed with, with you, Mr. Mensch, with you, Mr. Kuchivik, with you, Mr. DiGregorio, and you, Mr. Luciano, because effectively what the Supreme Court said was- Make a motion to open the meeting to the public. Don't interrupt me, Mr. Luciano. What, what Make happened, a motion to open a meeting to the public. You, you essentially, you lose the guarantee- the that There's the a motion on the floor in second. Of it's open to the public, please. Okay, look, I'm not talking over you, Mr. DiGregorio. Can we take a roll call, please? I'm sorry, but this has nothing to do with the question. agenda. Can we please move on? Exactly. Well, Thank you, Councilman. I call the question. I make a motion to call the question. Second. Let's make the, let's take a vote. It's always wrong. Ms. Watchers, please call the question and mute the mayor. So what should happen is actually um, last in, first out. Mitch, I like you a lot. I think you're please please call take the a roll call, please. This is Kate not on the agenda. Was actually I don't make a motion on the agenda. Is that the clerk have, mute the mayor? She should have, she should have the seat. I make a, you got a motion in a second. <laughs> can we take a roll call to mute the mayor, please? You can't mute me. You can't mute me. We, can no, can we control can't this. We control you're this meeting. so juvenile, immature, and unprofessional. Yeah. May I, uh, may I just say one people thing people very important? To open to the public. Uh, no, no, before we do that. I have a motion to open to the sure. public. I don't recognize you right now. No, I'm sorry, but we didn't. Vote. That's what you do. You we say you're going to recognize Robert people and you never do. That's not, why we talk over you. Robert rules of order. Did we vote or did we not? Matt, Matt, did we or did we not vote on the uh, minutes? Because you it voted. was. You no, voted. but it, we voted to consolidate. Did we actually vote? No, the yes. 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 Council yes. minutes. The yes. Wake up, yes. Mr. Wake I up. Just want to make sure. Time time, but wake up. We voted. Yes. Okay. Good. I just want to make sure. So, Mr. Yes, Nick, and, and, and gentlemen, I I apologize. So, Mr. Mr. You know, no one's recognized right now. We have a motion to open to the public, and we are following Robert's rules. So, if you want to speak, address the chairman, which is the mayor, which is me. Okay. Otherwise, do not speak out of turn. Oh, I had my hand up for a while. But I that's not how you, that's not Robert's rules. Robert's rules is not raising your hand. This is not kindergarten, Mr. DiGregorio. There's a specific way under Robert's rules to approach and request the chairman's attention. You haven't figured that out. Is well, there a motion I'm, to open to the public? I'm, I'm requesting your attention. Your... That's, that's not the right way to do it. I'm not going to instruct you. Is there a motion to open to the public? Okay, so I guess I can't speak. No, you can't. Yeah, Mr. well, I just wanted to point out that you that with Mr. You were going on and on, but Mr. Wu had resigned. And the date that he resigned, we would have had a free and open election to fill that seat. It was you. Yeah, the, court, the court decided. It was, to, it was you who you moved the switch. date up. Mr. DiGregorio, the it, it court. It was your party backed. that switched it. It was your party, not the court. No the court backed you. But you disenfranchised the voters. No, no, no. Go back and read the you court. You disenfranchised the voters. The court agreed with us. You disenfranchised the voters. Yes, they agree with you that you didn't want to have an, the, no. everybody in the town do a, an election. That's what you wanted. You wanted an appointment, not an election. So that's so you won. Yes, you won. And But you disenfranchised. No, actually, no, you guys did. You voted to keep that seat vacant for nine months. The nine prevailing months. law at the time. Graceful, what you guys did. It wasn't prevailing the law. Who follows Prevailing Linden? law at the time. Who it's follows fine. Linden? Who follows Linden other than you can, guys? Can we open, please? You guys violated the constitutional rights. We, I make the motion to open to the public. Second. Second. All in favor? Yes. I'm... Is there anyone from the public who wishes to be heard? Please raise your hand, state your name and address. Mrs. O'Shea. I thought we didn't recognize hand raising. <laughs> that's, for, that's for Robert's rules and you guys. Mrs. O'Shea, go ahead. She's muted. You're muted. Ms. O'Shea. Awesome. Ms. O'Shea, we can't hear you. Okay. No. There we go. All right, start all over. Um, I'm gonna go through some things very quickly. Uh, try to anyway. Um, protocol should be that anybody who wants to speak should be recognized by 
the mayor as uh, official of the meeting. Okay, you can make a motion, you can second it, but if he didn't recognize you to start with, the motion is not on the floor and it's not seconded until you're recognized by the mayor. Number two, um, the issue around the open seat from William Wu, uh, that was uh, adjudicated by Judge Wilson. And when, it, when the order came down, the county committee gave three names. When the, the next meeting, Mr. Farrow, Councilman Farrow nominated each of those three names individually. And he could not get a second from Mr. Katrubis, from Mr. Park, from Mr. Luciano or Mr. DeGorio. So each one failed. All right, so then that went back to the county committee. The county committee then chose King Zemecki as one of the three names given and to be seated on the council. She was sworn in on October 12th. When she came to the meeting on October 13th, she identified herself, asked to be seated as a council. And Mr. Munch said she could not be seated as a council because of the resolution that was uh, put in place. This was to try to keep uh, from what Mr. Katrubis had said didn't want to give control to the mayor. You know, it's so ridiculous. And now that ruling was ruled by the high court in New Jersey to be incorrect, okay? The reading of the statute 19 was incorrect. Now, King Zemecki was sworn in to that seat prior to Mitch Kapaskis being sworn in on May 11th. Okay, which is ironic because the hearing, the oral arguments on this issue with the Lin with Lyndon took place in April, and I really have a a, um, a feeling that possibly. Um, parties involved here might have felt that they that the ruling was going to go against the decision that was made here, and quickly put Mr. Kapaskis on trying to again subvert the rule of law, okay? And it's atrocious. It is really atrocious, okay? That's my, my point on that. And King Zemecki should be seated. And I'm sorry, Mr. Kapaskis, you know, I don't know anything about you, but you probably should not be on the council right now because you have seven council people that have been sworn in. So, you know, last in, first out, so to speak. Um, next. Um, I would like to address the fact that your clerk certified Ms. Begetts and her husband to run for county committee in District 2 after being notified by the county in February of the, all the, the house numbers and streets that were in the wrong district. And that was notified. She was notified. Uh, unfortunately, uh, your Jewel Thompson Chin was notified, Kathy Scancarello and Rosemary Weber. They were all on the email. And then for her to certify Rebecca and her husband for the county committee, that was a major, major fault on her part. And you people should not let that stand. She should be written up on that. That should be in her personnel file because one of her major uh, job responsibilities is elections. And, and she screwed it up point blank, okay? So I'm just putting that on the record so that everybody knows that she did it. And David, the Democrats didn't, didn't screw it. There's a, they did it right, okay? Because they had somebody in their county committee that was paying attention. Unfortunately, our county committee chairperson was not paying attention. And Rebecca was not paying attention because she was notified in March. And I was notified. And I didn't every, say every resident got a letter I, I, got, know, I got a copy I, of the letter from the everything. county. I got a copy of the letter from the county. I got a copy of the letter from the county. I did not. Residents that were on that list got a letter from the county in March. Okay, maybe you don't open your mail, or maybe you don't care. Don't tell me what I'm doing. Just trying to put yourself in a place that you don't belong. That's the don't problem. Say that. Thank you. Okay. You are trying to push yourself in. This is what you're trying to do and control everybody. It's not happening here. That's all what I can tell you. Well, what actually happened, though? What, I don't know. Uh, but actually, just tell us what happened. I mean, you don't know, and, and you don't know Mario any explanation, Rivka. Okay. 
what? You do not owe Mario any exactly. explanation. And the only time Mario asks for something is when he needs something. Let it go. I'd be happy to provide copies of all those letters to so every council okay. member. Okay. I feel badly that there's so much dissension over what district Rivka lives in or doesn't live in. So I, I just don't understand what happened. You know, it's, it's, so you I, live in the first district, I, I, Rebecca. I, you live in the first district. Thank you for letting me know now, okay? The county told you in March, but you chose to ignore it. You tried to dumb your way through it. And you had a clerk that covered up for you because she's in line with Mr. Katrubis. Those are bold okay. accusations, Ms. O'Shea. I think you should be very careful with what you say. I said, I said the clerk is in line with Mr. Katrubis. Mr. Katrubis went and brought her back. You're already on record. Thank you. All right, lower the temperature. Um, I just you have an opportunity to retract your statement if you lower will. the temperature, Mr. Kachuba. Stop threatening the resident. I'm not threatening anybody. Oh, I'm making it God. clear that she should be very careful. Just we'll making a statement. Community. Making a statement. You are constantly attacking. All right, let, let's just all of us. It's truth. The truth hurts, Rebecca. No, truth the truth hurts. Okay, the I truth hurts. You want to argue judge. with me? The truth hurts. But the I'm truth I'm hurts. I'm Oh, I live in the second time. district. You don't. You don't live in the second district. No, now I know I don't live there. So what? You didn't live there I'm from March know. either. And and the clerk knew you didn't live there since February. Oh, please. Okay, well, guys. I'm going to put it wait, in the wait, literature and I'll send it out to the town okay, for you. Let's lower the temperature, guys. Okay, so there was a mistake. You think it was intentional. Rivka says it was a mistake. We're not going to solve it tonight. Mistake, honest mistake. What do you think? I'm eating from that? Okay. It's a What's the matter with you, Mary? Where are you going with that? Okay. Right, guys. Why is the Rivka, stop fighting with the residents. This is it. Any, any other residents? <laughs> okay. Um, do you have a motion to close the public portion? Thank God. Is that a motion or just a prayer? So move. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, th there was one item on the agenda discussion. Um, there's there's been a committee and, and uh, they've done a great job of uh, looking at uh, improving uh, Johnson Field, Woody, uh, Woody Field, Johnson Park. And um, there's, um, there's plans that will be shared hopefully next week, if not sooner, uh, by Mr. Hippolyte, uh, borough engineer. And um, I thank uh, Mr. Katrubis, Kipsaskis, Andy and Mr. Perino. Um, I'm not sure if there's anyone else. Oh, um, Billy Theodorakis uh, for for their time and effort on that. It, we look, we we disagree on a lot of things, uh, Mr. Katrubis and I do. But um, on this one, um, I, we, I feel that we do agree, or at least we did last Friday. So and that, can all the council members get in, in the public get a uh, briefing okay. on what like, that plan is? Yeah. So like I said, it, there will be a plan being presented to everyone on council and to the public. Um, I, I haven't heard anything since Friday, but hopefully, um, actually most likely by the middle of next week. Um, Mr. Petrubis, do you know any of, uh, other updates on that? I, I have no updates and uh, I, uh, I think that we should just table tonight's discussion because there, because there are no updates. Okay, I mean, do you want to just speak? I'll second that. Well, actually, if you want, you can speak to the plan and inform everyone here tonight about what what the um, the broad framework of all the board. question. We've got a motion and a second. Yeah, I'm just. I, I think it's better off. You know, I think it's just better off if everybody just has the plan in hand and make it much easier for everybody just to. All right. Uh, all right. Suffice it to say, the, the the public, the children, everyone will be well served. Uh, with the plan when it's uh, presented. And um, again, I, I thank everyone for their efforts on that. Um, we don't need to call the Mr. DeGuario. We're just not going to discuss it. How's that? Okay, can I have um, a motion to adjourn? Yes. Second. Okay. Um, good night, everyone. And again, um, we, we who made the motion? Who made the second, please? We will, we will, I'm sorry, I'm speaking, Mr. Luciano. I'm just asking who made the motion. Luciano, I'm speaking. Can you just hold your thought for one minute? Okay. I want the public to understand that. I know there's been a lot of deaths in town. And as I said at the beginning of this meeting, we will have a um, respectful moment of silence next week when there's more people present, okay? 
Uh, so I don't want anyone leaving tonight thinking that I've, I've been remiss. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Luciano wants to know who made the motion and who made this who second. I'm just asking, I didn't hear it. I only heard Rifkin say second. I didn't hear the motion. Did not hear a second. Okay, see, so is it two different second. ask for clarification? Got it now. Thank you. I know that you have about five hours tonight. Go read the minutes that you're going to read before. Good night, yeah, Mr. Mayor, go home and, and beat your wife. Oh, whoa. Oh. Is that where we're going, Mr. Luciano? I thought we closed. Unless you yeah, want to meet me in the park and read me the minutes. Mr. Luciano seems to I'll meet you at Johnson Park and you can read me the minutes. You are such a dirty, vile. I'll meet you in the park. You can read the minutes.